Hi, my name is Cold Bear and let's start with V Rising. Awaken as a weekend vampire after centuries of slumber. Hunt for blood in nearby settlements to regain your strength while hiding from the scorching sun and aggressive garlic plants to survive. Game will have PvP combat implemented so you can make allies online, fend off holy soldiers and wage war against other players in the world of conflict. You will also have to rebuild your castle from ruins and convert humans into your loyal servants in a quest to raise your vampire empire. You will learn Learn and master an arsenal of deadly weapons and unholy abilities. You aim skill shots and dodge projectiles using WASD controls and cursor-based aiming. No mouse click to move here, sadly. Or luckily, depends on your laziness. And while doing that, you will tailor your playstyle by combining melee or range weapons with a variety of powerful spell kits. Master your skills and unleash your wicked powers. Will you become the next Count Dracula? Or, you know, <laughs> At least this guy. Ooh, look, a ghost cap floating all by itself. Gimli, Arkli Kwaki Saga. Definitely one of the easiest game names to remember. You will explore the dark world of Gimli based on Norse mythology, discover forest thickets and mountain trails, explore evil ridden towns and villages and mysterious tombs full of dangerous underground tunnels. Sounds cool, but looks uh, not that good. I don't know why this graphic style was chosen to represent the game, but it kind of reminds me of the early games some 20 years ago, where you could choose to run them with a 3D graphics accelerator, which nowadays is commonly known as a graphics card, or just with the pure power of your CPU. So those of us who couldn't afford a 3D graphics accelerator had to play their games only with the help of CPU, and they kinda looked like this game. That's a damn shame. So what happened, I don't know. Maybe they started developing Arkli Kwaki in 1998. Maybe it's a project of a century. Yeah, but the gameplay looks cool though, it may be a good game after all. Unexplored 2 – The Vaporer's Legacy the game is an ambitious procedural action RPG without grind, experience or gold. Instead, the story is all about your choices and their consequences as history unfolds. Unexplored 2 creates a vast, rich fantasy world for you to discover. Also here... Death can happen at any moment, sir. It can happen when you're happy when you're sad or when you owe somebody money. Yeah, you can literally die permanently in this world, which will continue to live on. As the title of Vaporer, you take on a quest to destroy the staff of Yendor, for which you'll have to traverse the world. Along the way, you'll meet tribes, encounter magical creatures and explore ancient ruins to discover mythical weapons and historic items. To be honest, just recently I was thinking that the guy who invented graphic style like this should be in jail somewhere in Siberia. but. And Explore 2 actually looks really cool. So if I was a dictator of the world now, I would let that guy go free now. I'm such a generous man, wow. Ragnara. This is an action RPG with top-down shooter and strategy elements. Gameplay is based on exploration, combat and resources management. And I literally have no idea what that means. The story takes place in an alternative reality in the lands of Kingdom of Norway in the 17th century. You will control the queen of the kingdom itself, a woman named Ragnara. Well, it would be a plot twist if the queen would be a man. But this time it's not, it's a regular woman. The story you go through is inspired by Norse and Celtic mythologies. Also, as developers promised, here your actions and choices will have consequences. The main weapons in the game are muskets improved with the magic of runes. Your enemies are ancient monstrous beasts and various creeps. And you have to shoot them dead or from time to time to use magic and other ammunition. As for now, only about 20 seconds of gameplay exist. And the game, I just have to say it, looks a bit closer phobic, the field of view is very small, you can barely see what is happening just a few meters away, and it looks like it's not the problem of a resolution, it's just how the game is made. That is really concerning. 
Dead Hunters. Developers call it a cooperative rogue-playing game. Here you can choose your hero, embark on missions and make decisions alone or together with your friends. Here every hit counts. You need to aim all of your attacks and make sure that you dodge those of your enemies. If you are skilled enough, you can make your enemies hit each other, helping you get rid of them all. That sounds dark soulish, but the gameplay doesn't look like something above average in terms of difficulty. It's just a fun slasher where you can collect a wide variety of weapons and magical artifacts to inflict as much damage on your foes as you can. Here you'll level up your characters and unlock their unique traits to help you defeat the dead plague. The world of dead hunters is procedurally generated, meaning that you will never visit the same place twice. It will look the same though, but it will be different. And that reminds me of a recent event in my local grocery store Lidl. I came to the store a few days ago for beer and marinated herring, and in the place where I usually could find my delicious herring, I found bread. Everything looked the same, but it was different because they changed the placement of every product in the store. So I've made a conclusion that Lidl is procedurally generated as well. Corridan. This game is weird. I wasn't planning to put it into this list, but then I decided that you cannot miss a title like this. At first it looks like a usual hack and slash game, but then you realize that you can turn into animals you kill, and then this whole game turns into crazy animal battles that would not cast a shadow of shame even on National Geographic videos. You can also play it with friends and uh, ride them. You realize how this sounds? Yeah, which is not a sexual thing this time, you can actually ride your friend to the battle, and not in bed. Also you can achieve more things together, reach unreachable places and so on. I have no idea how they will implement this into a single player, because here you can play alone as well. So besides all that shape shifting and riding your friends, you will also learn how and when to attack, dodge, block, jump, shoot, shape shift, grab and use abilities to take out the aggressive beasts, bandits and security machines that you'll encounter on your journey. Journey. Take the role as one of four thrill-seeking heroes who one day gain superhuman abilities after obtaining old artifacts. Game will let you explore different paths in the choice-driven dialogues and the various quests you can take on during your mission to save your people. All that while riding your friend. Weird West he will discover a dark fantasy reimagining of the Wild West where lawmen and gunslingers share the frontier with creepy creatures. Journey through the story of a group of atypical heroes written into a legend by the decisions you make in this unforgiving land. Each journey is unique and tailored to the actions taken, a series of high-stakes adventures where everything counts and the world reacts to the choices you make. So basically this game is a story-rich title where you discover the world through origin stories of different characters characters, moving from one character's journey to the next until the conclusion in the final chapter. Each playthrough is unique as the game tailors the story to the player's actions and past choices for an ideal dramatic arc, because you will be faced with brutal choices and consequences that can't be undone. Like you know, when you put too much salt into your potato salad, you can't take it back, or like your virginity, when you have too much of it, it's really hard to change that. And if you missed the first part of this video where you can find six more upcoming games like Diablo, just click here. Yep, right there. Six more upcoming games like Diablo. I have time. Click it. No? Click. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.